What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode. I'm Rob Will, here with Sig, like always. And yes, it's been a while, it feels like. We haven't done an episode in a couple of weeks. Two weeks. We've done, it's been two weeks? It's, it feels like it's been a while since we've gotten together in this very distant video chatting that we do. Your face well, is very close right there. Well, in this Pretty, intimate, like always. In this intimate setting, <laughs> last few episodes have been with Lane kick off the other podcast we're doing. It has, yes. Ring Rage report. But good. It's been fun. Are you losing hair? What was going on? No. It's not going the way it needs to go. It's, it's not working. It's not going to the side. <laughs> you would understand you're yeah. bald. It, that's my choice. Yeah. I chose for my hair to fall. I see, I've, I've seen your hairline when it starts growing back in those pictures. There is no hairline. I've seen your five o'clock shadow. Right back here. That's, that's three week shadow. There's no five o'clock shadow. <laughs> the five o'clock on Thursday. Yeah, it's, it's Thursday. Yeah, there's no sh- Third Thursday of the month. Nah, exactly. <laughs> there's no shadows of any kind. <laughs> No, it's been a bit. It's been a bit. Yes. Actually, we haven't done one since the beginning of this month. It's crazy, but like we've we've devoted ourselves to building the brand, but just not on this channel. In a way. Because you are you're back to full time streaming. Mm-hmm. We started the other podcast. We have some other things going on that'll hopefully come out in May as well. Yeah. So been busy. It's all yeah. within the brain. It's all within the podcast. It's just we can't neglect the baby, though. Yeah, it's just we. It just made more sense to produce a secondary podcast specifically to wrestling, because those were the nights that we were like, oh, well, we're taking up three, four hours of recording to talk about. Uh, main event or pay-per-view or whatever and right. of course we always had lane on as of recently like i think in the last three four months it's always been with lane if not longer i want to say since october actually now that i think about it but it's been a hot minute so it just made more sense to slide that over and do uh individual dedicated podcast solely for wrestling so where we can stick to the whole two guys, one game patch feel, and have it just be us. So it just made sense. Yes, I am back to full time streaming as well. So are you enjoying it? Yeah. Other than like the fucking five thirty wake up calls, yeah. <laughs> it's only it's only yeah. rough for like fifteen minutes. I'm like okay. And then once they start going, you can tell I'm a little rough. And then about five minutes into it, I was like, oh, I'm awake now. Let's go. <laughs> but like these last... Oh, yeah. I got one of your first ones. <laughs> okay, that... I think it was just your, your CBD night. <laughs> Listen, that first night, April 1st. So on, on March 31st, I literally... I shit you not. I took... I normally can take like... This means nothing to anybody really, but... A Halo gummy, which is Delta 8. 8 or 9. Delta 8 gummy. And normally I can take like two of those. And I can go to sleep pretty easily. Wake up fairly refreshed. But I also have Rocket Fuel, which is Delta 9. And that is like really potent stuff. And that's supposed to help you just like kind of like mellow out, relax, chill the fuck out. And I was like, okay. I took both of this at I think like 7 p.m that Sunday I was like it's fine I'll take it and then I'll be out by like 9 no I was out at like 11 because my body's still like you don't need to go to sleep yet <laughs> I fell asleep and literally slept through all my alarms never heard any of them go off and the only reason why I got up was because like oh man I got that sense of oh yeah I was supposed to wake up and go do something and I also have to go pee really bad so I woke up like ah oh, bitch I was still, you, you could tell, you could tell just how, for 
lack of better words, strung out, I sounded. <laughs> it's like, it wasn't all there. So, it was rough. <laughs> I got better. Yeah, I said you got through it. You could tell that a little bit. There was a little more of a half hour. Half hour coming off of everything. You got going. It's, it's I, wasn't, better, though. I wasn't off of it till about an hour and a half into it. <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, there we go. The 12 hour mark has hit. We're good. Feel normal. Good. This is what normality feels like. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. But no, it's, it's fun. I've enjoyed it. I've, um, I released or I recorded an episode for us about the like streaming journey as a whole, like what it takes to get started on a base necessity and our base level, sorry. And of course I'll do updates every month on like just trends and things to keep a lookout, things to avoid type situation. But it's been interesting because I've also been posting short format content and on like TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, and I use Eclipse GG to auto generate all my clips for me. So uh, you can go listen to the podcast or that episode to find more about it. But basically, it, it when I'm done streaming, it takes the stream, looks for key moments, captures it in 15 to three minute long segments, depending upon whether or not it's a clip or a highlight or a montage. But it does a really good job. And they just released a new feature. Uh, I think it was. Saturday released a new feature where now they're including sound effects and memes and gifs overlay on it. So it's it's funny because they are terrible. They are so oh I mean they're funny, but like they are they are terrible. Let me see if I can I send you one. Because it, it, it made me laugh when I posted it because I'm just watching it. And I was like, oh, this is so stupid. No one should. I This should not be a feature that I have access to. And it just automatically does it. So. Let me see if I can find it. I, the problem is it's a Call of Duty one, so. Yeah, but, all this stuff is like the free stuff for the generic, I guess, because you're paying for it. More yeah. of the generic, the generic preloaded stuff that comes with it. And I'm assuming there's one bad ones, but you have to actually drop some money to get the well. I will, premium ones. Real I'm on the I'm on the premium one right now. It's just it's um, I discovered I thought this was a very well established company, like many many years, kind of like Athena Scope was. I don't know if you remember that, but yep. I thought it was I thought it's been around for a few years and they've been doing this for a few years no this is still like in its infancy so they just started doing ai capture and generation on it and now they're building off of it so it's a it's a very slow progress but it's funny at times because of the shit they come up with i think this is a video i'll send it to you <laughs> Yeah, I just remember because I titled these feet these new features on Eclipse are too much sometimes, but I have like a whole slew of them on Instagram. God, I hope I sent that to you, not Lance. You guys have the same fucking name in my phone. Yeah. But you can watch it and see what I'm talking about. Just it, it builds up over time, of course, the more it uses it and the more it picks up on your your play style and all that it gets better but so this is all like the first time it's yeah. ever had to do it for me it's <laughs> i'm recapping all this to myself while watching and busting up laughing it's so fucking hilarious but well it's good that i mean the fact you have all your short form because i i do see a lot of your your shorts especially on tiktok i see a lot of them come through because i'll see like your you know your friends catches like oh they the motherfucker video. watch them 70 uh, There's like 70 of them. Don't don't say you do because I can go through and see who exactly watches them, and your oh, logo yeah, does not game. pop up. <laughs> Takes me a little while to watch all of them. Look, there. Yeah, a plethora uh, of them. Okay, easy because I'm at one. 
I had to do this all for a month of just kind of like throwing shit to the wall and see what sticks. And then next month I can figure out what time slots are the best for my quote audience. Oh. So yeah, it's basically flood the market and then next month it's analyze the market and say, oh, so I don't need to be posting 12 hours a day. I mean, probably doesn't hurt, but you'll find I mean, your, key, your key moments. It, it hurts me having to go, okay, copy, paste, eight <laughs> o'clock in the morning, copy, paste, nine o'clock in the morning. All right. Let's go do this for Facebook now. And he clips auto posts for YouTube and TikTok, but oh. truth in true fashion, Facebook doesn't like my fucking Facebook account. Well, at least, at least you get it out there. Well, yeah, yeah. Unlike some people, I'm not sensitive to the trolls. <laughs> Take your ass outside, touch grass. <laughs> it's funny. It's funny. I will say. I've seen anything else since then. <laughs> I mean, if 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 he's uh, if he's saying like very hateful and harassing stuff, YouTube will auto block it from us from even seeing it. So yeah, not saying he would, but if the worst comment he has is calling somebody fat and touch grass, and you know, yeah, it's not that bad. I've had worse just today alone. So. <laughs> So, well, that's it's life. Strong it's life. the internet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's funny because like, um, I got I got one. Actually, that same day, Lane got trolled on. I got one, and it was just like fucking downright hateful and like bullying, harassing type shit. And they were telling me, basically, you know, you'd be better off if you just didn't exist. You should stop playing. Um, you're quite terrible at this game. You're a fucking F. Uh, I got called a couple of racial sirs. And I literally was like, I'm motherfucking white. Like, <laughs> this doesn't work. <laughs> but, but yeah, uh, I ended up. You were kids laughing, Roger. <laughs> My kids laughing. <laughs> That's the only reason why I laugh because I know you can hear it and they can't. Um, <laughs> but it's so hateful. I was like, okay, whatever. I'll respond. I responded with basically, like, why did you take the like? You do understand how the internet works, right? Like, you can scroll and skip a video if you don't like it. You can literally just go whoop, scroll up. I don't like this video. Oh. Press and hold, not interested. It'll stop showing you my stuff. This dude uh -huh. commented on like six or seven different videos, just dogging me. I was like, whatever, I don't care what he's saying, but there was a moment where I was like, you know what? There's somebody out there who doesn't like, who can't just let this roll off of them. There's somebody out there who's like on the brink of the edge and just one stupid comment, one bad comment is going to push him over for irreversible damages themselves type situation. I was like, you know what? I'm going to be a fucking dick to this guy now. So I was like, hey, don't know if you understand how the internet works. I don't know if you're new. It's 2024. Internet's been around for about 30 years at this point. Beyond dial up, it's been around a little less. So with that said, there's a new feature on YouTube Shorts called the scroll feature. It's where you tip your finger on the phone and you swipe up. When you swipe up, it takes you to a new video. And when you go to a new video, you don't see mine. Also, I guess your mom was a bitch because she didn't teach you the golden rule either. You ain't got nothing nice to say. Don't say nothing at all. Because clearly you don't know that fucking rule. And just like went off on him. It was like four or five posts. And I ended it all with understand you better hope one day you don't say something to the wrong person who's on the edge and decides to self-harm them, self-harm and do irreversible damages because you will be the cause of it. And I hope you can sleep at night knowing somebody decided yeah. I fucking hate life. I'm going to do irreversible damages to myself now all because some piece of shit with a bitch ass mother like you said some stupid shit. Well, I don't care. I'd rather you be here. So bring on the trolling, bring on the hate, all you want. I'll put you in a place. My last post was, oh yeah, thank you for watching, commenting, interacting. 
this post got over 2,000 views because you keep interacting with it. So thanks, Boo Boo. I hope you enjoy your day. So I, was just like, I went off. I was so mad. Just not at what was being said to me. Just the the sheer fact of I've had friends who have had their kids hospitalized because they've been told or said hateful shit to them, and the kids you know don't know how to cope with it. They didn't grow up in the era of Xbox and PlayStation Lobby when it originally came out. They don't understand. Um, yeah. But so I was like, you know what? I'm going to take this as a teaching point. Let's go. I was very toxic to him, though. So I was, I'm all for it. I was there. I was built for it. <laughs> I mean, teach your own. There's, a, there's, there's always going to be somebody. Well, yeah. I'm just not that somebody to dick with. Yeah, no, nah, it's me. I just said it's not right. I just give two kids. I can't. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm like, like, oh, yeah. I'm just, then I'm like, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. I like stirring yeah, the I fucking pot. Go. Oh, yeah. No, I just get to the point. I'm like, oh, I don't want to argue anymore. I don't care. It's like, no. no. I don't care. <laughs> No, it's like the favorite thing I like, even if somebody is being very hateful to me, the favorite thing to always say is, you know, thanks for watching, commenting, interacting. Yeah. You're boosting my, <laughs> boosting my video on the algorithm because it's always like one of three things or one of two things will happen. They either won't respond at all because they just got called out for being stupid or mm -hmm. my favorite is they will argue back. And be like, I'm not helping your algorithm. That's not how this shit works. Go get fucking lessons in this shit. I was like, cool. So post a picture. I'll post a, a response video going onto YouTube's, like how their searches work and how they um, optimize the for you pages on everybody and breaking it down and just having to be like, well, that's not for every, every video. It literally says, in order to put, uh, to get your videos on FYPs and for you pages on YouTube Shorts, these are the things you need to consider. If they are high interactions, they will be seen more. If they get high likes, they will be seen more. If they get lots of comments, they will be seen more. I don't know if you know this, dude. You're doing two of the three. You're commenting, yeah, and you're you're watching because you don't know how to use your finger and scroll up, yeah. So, but. I find it funny for the most part. Just some of them pushed me a little too far. I was like, I'm going to be a mega dick. Let's go. Or the ones that come after that's you. The, that's funny. That's what happens, though. That's that's the internet anymore. Yeah. Yeah. It's no longer like a, a positive negative. It's like a neutral or negative. Yeah. It's not really much positive. There is, it is out there, but you really have to look for it. You, yeah, you, you have, have to search. Look for it. Yeah. Uh, you can do your innocent searches of everything else, but once you get into like social media no. interactions, no, you have toxic to positivity, and it's it does suck, but yeah, it's it is what it is. No, the, my I don't know if you saw. I didn't tag you because I push out so much content. I fucking tempted on Thursday nights or after Thursday nights, just tagging every fucking Call of Duty piece. But I get like forty to sixty clips from a yeah. bad night on Call of Duty on good nights, like 140, 150. So I was like, eh, probably not tag Roggle in <laughs> every clip. Why, so why is your phone going up? Ping, ping, stop it. Stop it. I will block I you, you stupid fucker. <laughs> I have all that shit turned off. I hate notifications. <laughs> but I also have all those bubbles. I'll see the bubbles and I have Ugh. to go through everything. At least, at least get it uh, wiped. Cause I can't stand it. Other hey. people that are in the house have over 60,000 some odd emails and it drives me insane. I, I, I twitch when I, when I look at the, the phone, I turn the bubbles oh. off because it bothers me. I have to, if I don't, if I don't have the bubbles, I don't know. Not important. Then. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I think it was, yeah. When we did the high trip resurgence this last Thursday, I, oh, uh, time? we did it three times. Well, yeah, maybe, but the one where like, uh, the, our, our, our care package dropped and I was running with the Renetti and actually killing people. 
at the drop zone and is down by the uh docks where the helicopter is in the uh tower yeah so down there but anyways in the clip you see me killing like two people two or three people and you just kind of run away and we're talking we're not shit talking or anything it's just you're gonna go do your own stuff because you're scouting the area i'm load camp load out camping right now to be a dick and it's very obvious but like i'm staying this staying around the perimeter so i kill two people and you're just nowhere to be seen third person comes around and i get shot and you're just seen in the background um i think it was i believe it was instagram it may have been youtube uh but they come in wow your partner fucking sucks ass he no. just disappears no. forever because he has better stuff to do why is he not helping you get your load out why is he not helping you kill people you guys could actually destroy people if you uh work together don't you know about the stacking perks it just went on and on oh i'm just God. like I'm just laughing so i'm like the one video that you're getting shit on on my stuff is the one where like we're legitimately working properly together and we're doing good and we're surviving we made it in the top seven <laughs> like, you just get shit on uh or the other one where you literally just watch me die like the kill cam shows you right behind me watching the guy kill me and i've even called you out on the on the thing of, oh no don't fucking help me or anything just watch me die and you're like i didn't notice it you get destroyed in the comments there too i just laugh at them because they're like you need a better partner i was like i have no other partners i think you don't understand this he has no other buddy nobody else i have nobody else we are our only people for this fucking game <laughs> you guys just don't understand but you're welcome to join so you're welcome to join no you guys suck oh okay well one of us do i will take that that's fair but we may do better if you help us it is funny maybe i get a crack out of out of comments Love them. I look at them every now and then, not much. Kind of ignore them. You ignore everybody, though. Not everybody. I pick uh, and choose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, let me I see. Just want to ignore. I would say you ignore. You ignore everyone. But that kind of, you know, yeah. You know, I will say we're 22 minutes in, so we're, so we're on this topic of gaming. I want you to explain this one, okay? Uh, cause this, this was your topic you wanted to cover for discord. Are gamers, the male basic bitches. <laughs> so I feel like your, this is the proper time to discuss this. <laughs> you have your, your basic bitch status of having, having your way or wanting exactly what, what it is, no matter what, um, uh, complaining if you don't have either the best things or the generic. So when it comes to streamers, you have your big top 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 names, you know, to the tap and the guy like that. Yeah. Then kind of your lower your lower your lower mid tier whatever, you know, guys that are stuff starting to come up. If they do not have the same thing as the top elite, or if somebody sees somebody in mid building their way up it's the same thing with the comments they're going to shit talk bag on and everything else and your experience at the same time uh your computer sucks your graphics suck and everything else is like you have to either come out of the gate with everything the best or you're considered dog shit you're you're considered not, you're not even going to be in the game yeah so you have to, you're going to sit on the side just because you don't have you didn't come out of the gate with everything when people that are at the top started with duct tape on their <laughs> on their camera on the wall on the laptop and everything else so if you if you want to be the the basic bitch of everything you have to you have to be pretty much come out with everything or be considered dog shit from everything which i mean you're not wrong because you even like the people who are starting out streaming or like game considering streaming because I get asked that from time to time, even like when I wasn't full time, uh, was like, what's your 
what's your setup, what's your equipment, everything. And mm -hmm. when people are like, you don't have like a, we'll toss it back several years. When the Yeti Snowball came out, you remember that? Mm -hmm. That was like the premiere, the go-to microphone for streamers, uh, whether it's a Snowball or the other Yeti microphone. But those, that was the premiere, that was the top of the line. And I was streaming full time Destiny player, and the amount of people would be like, "What microphone are you using?" Some fucking twenty dollar one off of Amazon. I learned how to mess with the filters and everything. I got everything correctly set so where I didn't need to spend two hundred dollars on a microphone, and that still exists today. But the amount of people was like, oh, no, no, I can't stream because I can't drop $2,000 on a computer, $200 on a microphone, $100 on a proper ring light. I can't get the the dampening pads. I can't get the stream decks. I can't get this. I can't get the monitors. I can't get that, 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 that. I was like, you can literally start streaming with the PlayStation. Yep. You, you right. don't need anything else. That's how I got started was a PlayStation with no camera. And they were just playing Call of Duty. And then it was, yep. oh, I, I think I made Twitch affiliate. And then it was, oh, I have a little money from Twitch. I'm going to go buy a PlayStation 4 camera bar. And then it was, I'm going to go build my own computer again. And then I've been PC ever since, really. So, yeah. And it's just, yeah, I was, I, I would say the people that feel like you have to have everything. To me, that screams more basic bitch of I had to mimic everything the top tiers do in order to, to quote, be successful. I had to look like uh, the Kardashians. I had to stream like Tim the Tatman. I have to sing like, uh, that's not a singer. I was going to say Ricky Gervais is that as a comedian, <laughs> not a singer. <laughs> yeah, he's got a great voice. Amazing voice. I heard him at the Oscars. Amazing. Um, <laughs> like, there's people who they have to they have to follow a an example a template so to speak because like that's what screams basic bitch to me like because everybody who goes to starbucks and gets the pumpkin lattes in the fall it's like all right oh yeah yep be original try the you know i'm not saying i'm getting this lot recently because i recently discovered it but you know the matcha or the strawberry frappe which tastes like strawberry melted ice cream <laughs> the matcha one's the adult one it's it's a very acquired taste because like i don't mind it but it's very earthy and my wife it's, it's, yeah. but it's not sweet it's not sweet so i would say go try it but i, I don't recommend anybody spend six dollars on something they don't like <laughs> <laughs> no but, not at all but it's I, I would say to kind of like elaborate on gamers being the male basic bitch, I would almost, and this is going to shit on both of us, mostly you though. I would almost say a Call of Duty player nah. is your basic bitch gamer. You have. I wouldn't say just Call of Duty. I think more of just your first person shooters right now. I would say your Battle Royale first person shooters because yeah. I would say like Fortnite, Call of Duty, Apex. And honestly, in this specific order, Fortnite Apex Call of Duty is like the evolutionary or uh, tree. If you're just starting out, you you play Fortnite. I accidentally hit my microphone. You play Fortnite. It once you get a little bit better at Fortnite, you go, "Ooh, I want to mess with like the movements, or I want to get really good." Then you make the decision: do you go Apex or do you go Call of Duty? Majority of the time, you go Apex because it's a little bit. It's a little squad, three people. And you can either uh, get the operator fill with your legends, or you can just work on the weapon master mastery. And then Call of Duty is more of like your evolved basic bitch, like your let your your rare basic bitch, so to speak. But it's just like a little bit upper class <laughs> Fortnite players. Yeah. I'm evolved. I have I have thumbs. I can play with keyboard and mouse. I can talk trash on a proper level using high school terminology. And I don't yeah, sound like a creepy with person. This. With uh, the battle royale, it is is pretty much where 
the basic business is, I guess, when it comes to streaming. Those, those are your bigger ones, but I do see... I'm not just talking about streaming. I'm talking about gaming, like gaming as a whole. But on the other hand, too, if you look at Kick, Kick in general, you I see people that have four to 5,000 people watching them play chess. Yes. How? I have no idea, but I, that is a, a niche in their own. Same thing with um, slot machines. Yep. There's 10,000 of people watching one person play slot machines. I played blackjack the other night on, or the other lunch, around lunchtime, on Just Kick. Like, went on and just, it, again, I'm not betting anything. It is a blackjack game. That's it. Like, it's no real money. But the amount of people that showed up, it fucked with, like, my entire um, stats for a Kick. Because, like, you're averaging, you know, 12 to 17. This went to, you're averaging, poof through the roof because that one one stream of three hours long garnered like 150 200 people and they're just talking and they're like giving advice oh hey you got pocket jacks this is what you should do i was like i'm gonna split them <laughs> no no you got 20 why would you split them i'm gonna split them no yeah i can win more no money more no, no. People comment, hate you. <laughs> <laughs> it's the gambling scene or the the gambling themed scene for like kick is ridiculous and same with i i would i feel like kick is more of the i, I want to call them hobbyists because same with like woodworking pops yeah. off at kick chess well not a hobby but you can get really good at it it's so weird because it's the it's the niche market like if yeah. you have that one off you don't want to tell people that you're into chess. You don't want to tell people that you, you have a gambling addiction, so you just watch it. Uh, but, like, even before I went full-time, I played, uh, you know the game Balloon Tower Defense? Yeah. So the monkey dart game with balloons. Balloon Tower 6, I played on, I, pl I streamed on all platforms. Kick popped off with, like, 60 some twitch popped off with 70 some youtube popped off with 60 some facebook i don't know but it was it was weird it threw all my fucking metrics out the window and the amount of people who just showed up and not even the u.s mostly overseas to the point i i think i told you this i played with a legitimately world ranked player on balloon tower six and he's oh, yeah. actually holds a record as well i was like oh had to go look him up but that dude still like he shows up to my stream time to time he's like you should play balloon tower uh, <laughs> i don't I'm not really in the mood to play that right now that's more of like a me on the toilet type thing i have yeah, time that was a good that's awesome. so that was a one-off situation of i have nothing else to play i'm gonna play this so it, it's definitely weird yeah and there are weird people love you all but fucking weird people different world that's then probably a nice way to say <laughs> your toxic your toxic your toxicity within warzone apex fortnite of and i'm sure that there's some toxicity within the gambling the slot machines the chess and everything else i'm pretty sure if i went on there and i was doing exactly what you were doing the toxicity would show up because i don't i do not gamble with it when it comes to cards i don't play cards i've never really grown up playing it i don't I, I can do it if I wanted to, but I don't know what be twelve. What made time. you think so, my conservative Catholic raised ass was raised with gambling? The military that's not true. High school taught me that. So I, saying, I never I never learned how to, how to play cards. My dad played it, but I didn't really learn how to play it. I never enjoyed it that much to sit and do it. I will go to a casino every now and then play blackjack, but I don't play with other people at the table because I know I will fuck other people at the table. Because I will hit <laughs> when I shouldn't, or I'll split, like you said, when I shouldn't. Somebody's so counting cards, and you're like, I got 19. And they're going, he's not gonna, he's not gonna hit. I know what the next card is. Hit. Son of a bitch! I bust! You stupid <laughs> fuck! I needed that! I've seen, I've seen people get mad at other people at casinos. I'm like, I'm not gonna be that guy. I'm not gonna be the asshole that pisses off the entire table. That, like, no, thank you. That was us on, uh, when my wife and I got married. I told you the story. We went up to Omaha. We wound up in uh, 
the casino in Iowa because I didn't realize how close Omaha is to the border. And it's oh, literally yeah. just a jump skip across. But we wound up in a casino, went to blackjack table. It's a low, low table. So you can bet with like ones and fives. And I was like, oh, I bet $5. Oh, cool. I got, I got 15. And I know, I know the stats. I know what you should hit, not hit, how you should play, how you should look at the table. Like I know the basic understanding of it to have a good grasp. But here I am sitting with a 15 and there's two other people to the left of me and one to the right. He busted. I was like, okay, well, I know what I read at the time. I was like, oh, I know I'm technically more likely to not bust because he busted and another guy busted the round before. So I shouldn't be, I shouldn't be able to bust this round. I see their hands. I was like, they're going to be so mad if I bust. 15. It's fine. It's fine. Hit me. <laughs> bust. But, uh, <laughs> and just look over to my left and there's this guy's. You motherfucker. Because like one of them was showing eleven, and I drew a ten. It's like, mm. sorry. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm my not bad. To, like, I don't make enough money to go to the table to help you make money. <laughs> while I lose money, it doesn't fucking work that way. <laughs> like you're not gonna you're not gonna tip me out at the end of the night. And you walk away with you know two three hundred bucks up, and I'm out here down two hundred. I'm not getting any of your money. <laughs> like, it's like I helped you do that like i didn't know i was what i was doing so i'll go i'll play craps i will not play black i'll play craps over black because i grew up playing dice that i would play so there's, there's shows you my childhood i guess i'm in the back alley shooting shooting dice against the fucking wall and he's a new pair of shoes shit i, I, I never i never played craps because i could never fully understand it and i know it, i've been told it's really easy yeah whatever I would play uh, roulette. Yeah. Roulette would be one of those games like I would feel so ballsy, but at the same time, I'd be like, odd, even, black, or red. Only options. Not going with anything else. I have a 50 50. I have a 50 50 chance. Ah, shit. Zero. Fuck. Yeah, yeah. Had that app on the cruise. I didn't, like, just wasn't even paying attention. But it, those. They're games, but those games pop off on kick. Yeah. And like, it's, I think it's funny, but like I said, I'm not trying to build my stream as a individual game or individual content or else I'd just be playing Call of Duty. Even though, according to Thursday night statistics, I'm getting viewership, like high teens, low twenties on Call of Duty. So. I don't see them on Twitch, so I only get updates on YouTube and Kick. And then Facebook is wonky. Which I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty sure if I, well, maybe not me, but with a uh, different style shirt on, my viewership may or may not go up. I don't know. Just saying. If it's a low cut midriff shirt, and I'm not of the male persuasion. My viewership may or may not go up. I don't know. I'm just saying. Am I salty about it? Maybe a little bit. We've covered that. I've told I've told my my wife before. I was like, one of these days, I'm just gonna show up to my stream and I'm going to be no shirt because like until you get below my below my chest, I'm in shape. Like I have I have toned arms. I have pecs. I can make them bounce if I need to, and then we. When you get to the belly, you're like, ah, he either drinks a lot bigger or he's a dad. It's the second one. So, uh, like, I have a little bit of a belly, but it's so funny. And she's like, and what would you do? What would you do if somebody's like, hey, I like your, I like your chest. But like, <laughs> tip me, I make a bounce. <laughs> she's yeah, like, you, you got canceled. <laughs> she's like, she's like, you would. You would do that. It's like there's not a whole lot I would do. If somebody's like, "Hey, if you put your feet on camera, I'll give you fifty dollars." Like you paid me fifty dollars for something, I'll give you my feet. Like, yeah. I'm Look, the shit out for free. I'm not saying a twenty is a twenty, but twenty. You're not asking to see my butt cheeks. We're good. Apparently, fifty is a fifty, also. <laughs> so, like a five's a five. Somebody's like, "Let me see your big toe for five bucks." I'm like, all right. 
Don't act like you're better than me. It's money. <laughs> Five dollars for the fat toe. <laughs> I wear sandals 80% of the time through the year. So you can either see my toe for free by coming down here or you can pay me $5. I'll let you see on camera. I even polish it, put a filter on it, make it look good. <laughs> you have fucking Halo theme music in the back with your, your toe gleaming. Oh, like, like, nope, we're done. Way too much. Too much has happened. See, stream has fallen off. It's gone to the dark side. Here's... He doesn't stream video games anymore. His toes are everywhere. Don't Here's tag a... me in those videos. I'm going to tag you in all those. Here's the nope. funny thing. You said the Halo music. I heard the Halo music mean like talking about a song. Halo. No. I was like, the game Halo. <laughs> Hello, hello. You're That's... fired. <laughs> <Or don't>... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would I would purposely tag you and all that and all of it. Just show my big toe and be like, there you go. Just for Roggle. Do you like it? Say it. Say daddy likes it. Damn. You're fucking problems. <laughs> That's the problem. I don't have problems. I mean I do. I have a lot of mental problems. Yeah, but... plenty of problems. <laughs> It's the lack of concern for my problems is that's the big the problem. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> that's the main yeah, one. That's the big problem. The that's the main one. For my, like, main if, if these people can go on fucking kick and do a hot tub, still do a hot tub, or you have Amrith who can go on and basically be butt fucking nude with see through bikini, I can show my big toe. I'm just saying, there's an audience. Would it be better suited for like a specific OF type of style? Maybe, maybe. Well, that's a lot of work. I already have a streaming channel. <laughs> I'll be like Monday through Friday, video games. The weekend after dark. <laughs> you want to see my you kneecap? Your, your toe camera. <laughs> Set up a separate camera viewing your under your feet. I'll just, the ground. I'll just trap my phone and. Really, my phone? <laughs> Furry ass hobbit feet slapping the ground the entire time. Look, I have been told. You're not offended by hobbit feet? No, I, I'm not. I'm not. I have, because I don't have hobbit feet. I give some male shit that I do know very well, hobbit feet. Uh, but I've been told numerous times, especially when I was like working at AT&T or Best Buy, I'd show up in sandals. I would have a certain amount of older women at the time. They were like, I mean, they're still 10 years older than me now, but I was not in my thirties is what I'm saying. Um, I was in my mid twenties at latest late twenties. And I would have these late 30 year old women be like, you guys some really gorgeous feet. It's like, ew, like that's this is how much I've evolved over the time is back then I was like, don't talk. That's disgusting. Why would you talk about my feet that way? That's so weird. Stop looking at my feet now. And now I'm like, you got $5. I'll give you a picture. $10. I'll let you touch it. <laughs> I evolved. I see that. I Not for the better. Evolved into, but yeah. Okay. I evolved is the point. <laughs> the hell did you get yourself into? Anything for a dollar. Listen. COVID was hard. Dollars a dollar. All right. Mm -hmm. It's fine. But it's just, yeah, I think I joked about it even with my wife and she's like, whatever, that's fine. To you. Just, I was like, well, cause I, I've, that's another topic or for another episode. I won't even go to that one. I was going to go somewhere else with it, but it's totally off stream. You can't do that one. <laughs> Back mm. to the topic. Let's get away with my toes. But hey, uh, cyberworksig at gmail if you want pictures. Just you know, let me know. I'm here for it. Five dollars, five dollars. Within a week, he's gonna quit the podcast and streaming. He's now on OnlyFans. <laughs> Strictly. Do my last episode. So unfortunately, my time is very occupied. Five a.m. <laughs> I'm up at five until about eight p.m. Um, and I'm, I'm busy, so I can't do my game nights and I can't do my streams, but if you want to catch me, oh, F. So yeah, yeah. same handle though. So. <laughs> Cyberberg singing. 
Good morning, what only fans? I'd be everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> you want my toe water? I'll soak my feet in some Epsom salt. Give me my toe water. I want to throw up. This fucking shit. <laughs> no. Toe water. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's so much better than bath water. Okay, the amount of people who are buying that Amaranth and even uh, two other girls bath water and let alone specific time of the month water is just ugh. that's yes. No, I, I agree. Weird, weird, <laughs> gross altogether. Nasty. But again, if you want my bath water, I'm against it. <laughs> I'm not against it. Just say again, the dollar is the dollar. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm a whore, but really. No, no, not at all. You know, what's but, sad? No. What's sad? Somebody, like, logically thinking about this from a legitimate standpoint, if somebody would be like, I bring logic into it. Yeah. if somebody would be like, hey, Sig, I'm going to send you, I'm going to send you a 10 pound box of special sour candy. I just want a foot pick. I think, all right, <laughs> bet. So if you want to my van across in front of Sig's house, free candy for foot picks. There you go. You can get him in that easy. Here's my address while sending Roggle's address and then send your text message. You're going to get a 10 pound box of candy. Please forward that to me. Thank you. <laughs> Do not open unless you want to be mortified. It's probably a dead, a severed foot in the candy. Put this next to yours. I want to compare. I want a picture with it. This is my first victim. Poor next. <laughs> this has I devolved. <laughs> well, this has devolved into something weird. <laughs> that's where that's where it goes. It's been it's been about a month. It had to get back, back. bitches. <laughs> It had to go, it had to go weird. Anyways, wrapping this up, uh, as Rago say at the beginning of this, we do have, or I, I won't say we because it's not mine, it's just our podcast. Rago has been working hard for once, very diligently, and he's actually got interviews lined up and he's interviewed one, two people? One right now, another one okay. in a week. And these are... I hate saying it like this, but it's the way I know how to say legit actors who have been to movies uh, and getting ready to be part of a huge, a potentially huge cinematic universe. Uh, we're not going to give too much detail away until it's all sli uh, fully solidified and he has all his episodes done that he needs to. By that, I mean recorded because I'll produce them, I'm sure. Um, just be honest. So. Stay tuned. I don't know when we're going to release that. <laughs> I don't know when we're going to do that. But beginning of May. Aiming for beginning of May. That's the goal. Supposedly in two and a half weeks. We'll see. I'm going to say by summertime. Hopefully we have these all out. Hopeful. Realistic. It's okay. Again, 20 is 20. You're hopeful that you don't have to sell feet picture. I'm okay with it. I don't need to sell feet pick. You're the one looking looking forward to it. I don't know how I would react if somebody was actually like, here's twenty dollars. Like are you for you real? Would do it, would you be skeptical? Yeah, do you question it, but you still want to do it? Like really? Like hold on. Like really? Like, hold on. You really want this? Like I'm like just my right now. Just my right foot? Or which angle? Or, or left. Like, do you want me touching something? Huh? Do you want some pumps? Sandals? Shoes? <laughs> Slippers? What do you want? I think I would, I would, I would lose a client because I would ask too many fucking questions. Like, then I was trying to enjoy myself. You're making this way too hard. Like, <laughs> okay, never mind. I'll go to the next weird guy. Thanks. Have a good day. I just want a fucking beat pick. I don't need to know all this detail. Just send me what you got. Take it all. But anyways, yeah, stay tuned for that. Because it, I'm. I don't know what they're talking about in these episodes. I am not privy to it, uh, most because it's not my uh, forte. Is that the right word to use? It's not my fancy. 
not something I, I thoroughly enjoy as much as they do. Uh, but Roggle and Lane are working on it, so I'm excited for it. I can't wait to see what it's come out as. And yeah, if you want to be on too, two guys one game pad podcast dot, or at gmail.com or contact at two guys one game pad.com. Yeah, that's all I really got. Catch me, Seven Merc Sig, Monday through Friday, six fucking o'clock in the morning, Central. Here's Ruggle. <laughs> Feet pics, you gotta DM me. <laughs> I got hand pics too. Yeah. I can do jazz hands. No, we get seals all the time. Feet, the feet we don't see. Yeah. Kneecaps, kneecaps, shins, and feet. I'll show you my thigh. <laughs> Get a little closer. <laughs> Alpha, sure. make sure to check us out on Thursdays. Oh, goddamn we leg. We, we play Warzone. Apparently, it's doing really well for City. I get a few views over here and there. But uh, check out two guys on gamepad.com for all the merch and everything else. And yeah, I don't think I got anything else. <laughs> I don't think. Check out Six Feet. Oh, that's <laughs> Bye, bitch. Unauthorized access.